All right, last time we talked about why your software sucks. And the reason of that is because you've got all this commodity software down here that's running your business, but you're really making your unique, your awesomeness with what does this software doesn't do. You're bridging that stuff with manual processes and spreadsheets and all the kind of fun, all the kind of fun stuff. So you say, hey, Simon, don't want to worry, it's cool. We're gonna add this new piece of software up here. Maybe it's marketing automation or something like that. And, and it's fantastic and none of our competitors are doing it. Hey, that's, a, that's great. Uh, just curious, are you using all of it? Well, no, we, you know, we, we just use this one little piece of it. And everything else kind of falls down here still. You're doing kind of still living down that world. And you go through this cycle a few more times and you've got another piece of software and you're using this of it and you're using this of it for all these different types of software that are cool, they're awesome, they're new. None of your competitors have them. But you're still bridging all your gaps with manual processes because you're not using everything, all these things to do. Maybe you don't like the way they do it. You like the way you do it here. Maybe your processes don't really accept everything this piece of software does. So you're just getting to the next evolution of suck. So in the next uh, next video after this, we'll, we'll get to uh, uh, evolve even past that level of suck. We'll get there.